Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Tian Yu from Terry Chiu Academy. Right now we're going to solve this question together. So if you take a look at this question, you might be reminded of something similar. If you've seen something like this before, until say maybe 1 over 9 times 10, then you can kind of guess that the way we'll be doing this question will be quite similar. So let me run you through how to do the one in blue first, because that's the simpler of the two. So 1 over 1 times 2, this can actually be split into 1 over 1 minus 1 over 2. Similarly, 1 over 2 times 3 can be split into 1 over 2 minus 1 over 3. So on and so forth, we'll get 1 over 3 minus 1 over 4. All the way until our last term, which is plus 1 over 9 minus 1 over 10. Now if you look over here, we see that 1 over 2 repeats itself in plus and minus. So when we see that, what can we do? We can cancel both of them out. Similarly, 1 over 3 also repeats twice. We cancel them out. And we can kind of see that there's some pattern going on here, right? So we'll just continue the cancellation all the way until the plus 1 over 9. Because 1 over 1 and 1 over 10 are the only two terms that won't repeat themselves. So this whole lengthy complex addition would actually boil down to just 1 over 1 minus 1 over 10, which will give us 1 9 over 10, sorry. So now, if we know how to do this question, we can imagine that for the question we are interested in, the 1 over 1 times 3 and so on, the approach to doing it will be really similar. So, similarly, I am going to split 1 over 1 times 3 into 1 minus 1 over 3. I'm going to split 1 over 3 times 5 into 1 over 3 minus 1 over 5. And if we do the whole thing together, let's see what that looks like. It'll be 1 over 1, 1 minus 1 over 3, plus 1 over 3, minus 1 over 5, and so on and so forth. However, here's the problem. If we look at what 1 over 1 times 3 is actually equals to, this right here is equals to 1 over 3. But if we look at what we calculated before, 1 minus 1 over 3. This right here is actually equal to 2 over 3. So we're presented with a problem now because what we've calculated is no longer equal. So how do you think we can get across this problem? I can actually multiply this value here by half to get 1 over 3. Now let's take a look at 1 over 3 times 5. This right here, if you did the actual math, when you do the subtraction, you'll get 2 over 15. However, in actuality, 1 over 3 times 5 is equals to 1 over 15. So, once again, how can we fix this correction? We can multiply half to bring it down to 1 over 15. So, by looking at these two terms, we can kind of see that this question is really similar to the one before. However, there is an additional step required. What we need to do is, to our entire addition, we have to multiply by half throughout. So I'm going to put a half here, and I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to put a half here, I'm going to put a bracket throughout. And then we're just going to go on with our normal addition. So where must we go until? We have to go until what plus 1 over 19 minus 1 over 21. Like that. And just like we did before, we're going to cancel out all the common terms. All the way until plus 1 over 19. So what are we left with? We're left with half 1 minus 1 over 21. This will be 
half times 20 over 21, which will ultimately give me 10 over 21 as my answer. We have now completed this lesson. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.